there's no doubt that you can't look at your phone tonight without seeing a message of support for those in Houston. Many using the hashtag Houston Strong from athletes like J.J. Watt trying to raise money to thousands of people from all around the U.S. sharing a photo similar to this one offering your prayers tonight. There's also this, images of the Empire State Building in darkness, a sign from the people of New York to the residents of Houston. Tonight, NBC Boston's Frank Holland joins us live outside Boston City Hall with more on how you can help those impacted by Harvey. Frank? Well, you know, starting tomorrow right here at City Hall, you can donate clothing, diapers, food, and much more to the victims of Harvey. But as we continue to see these dramatic images of people in need, many of us will want to donate money right away. Tonight, a warning about Harvey scams. Images from Houston, simply heartbreaking, but giving to victims of Harvey, not so simple. There's a lot of the scams already created from this tragedy. The Better Business Bureau issuing a warning about donation scams. What's the number one thing you shouldn't do when giving? You shouldn't give cash and you shouldn't give donations over the phone. Keith Ellis from SHP Financial in Plymouth says donating by credit card or check is best. Also, make sure you do your homework, go online. The BBB agrees, recommending people go to the site give.org to make sure the relief organization is reputable. Even people are giving money to the Red Cross, the United Way, and the Salvation Army. People are making dummy sites that look exactly like those websites. More tips from the BBB. Be cautious about donating food, clothing, or other goods. See if the charity has an on-the-ground presence and ask how the charity plans to get your donation to Texas. Ask for some legal documentation to make sure they are set up correctly. Many of us seeing the situation on social media. There, Ellis says, your sympathy can get you scammed. Be careful what you click. Be careful that because some of these are phishing emails that then create you know, ways for them to get into your computer or could potentially steal some funds. So again, you can donate here at Boston City Hall starting tomorrow. Officials in Houston say everything is appreciated, but right now financial donations are best. For a list of legitimate charities to donate to, you can go to our website, NBCBoston.com. Live here at City Hall, Frank Holland, NBC Boston.